Hmm. Question for you guys. How many of you throw away the rinds of their watermelon when they eat some? You know you shouldn't, right? This thing is packed with good stuff. So if you throw them away, it's literally like taking vitamins and putting them into trash. But you may be thinking, this is not very tasty, this white stuff, but there's plenty of ways to make it interesting. And today we're gonna talk about one of the most popular one, and we're gonna transform our rinds into delicious cocktail garnishes to reduce the waste as much as possible. We're also gonna make an amazing summer style cordial, and obviously we're gonna wrap this up with a delicious watermelon melon drink. So guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, go grab your shaker and let's make some cocktails. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Until this week, I never really thought about eating my watermelon rind. The first time I actually heard it was possible was back in the days watching an episode of MasterChef Australia. The chef had to cook something with watermelon and he lost some points because he used only the pink flesh. That kind of caught my attention. But that ended there. I never made any researches on the topic until this week. I don't know for you, but here right now, we're in the middle of a heat wave. It's very hot and watermelon is all over the place. So we've been eating a lot of that lately because it's really refreshing and we need that. And that kind of brought back that souvenir that we can eat the rind of the watermelon. So I made some researches and that's what gave me the idea for the video that we're gonna make today. Before we talk about how to eat them, let's just talk about why we should eat them. It's just packed with good stuff. Vitamin A, C, B6, zinc, potassium, amino acids. It's good for your skin, your blood pressure, and it's good for the strength of your immunity system. So what's not to like? Maybe the taste of it, because it's kind of flavorless, but when it's prepared properly, it can become very tasty. One of the most popular way to prepare the rinds of a watermelon is by pickling them which means to soak them into water, sugar, vinegar, and salt, along with some herbs and spices. So that gave me an idea. Why not replacing that sweet and sour mix by a cordial to give the taste to the rinds? That could be great because we could use the cordial after in a cocktail and then once again reducing the waste to a maximum. The only downside, the cordial doesn't act as a preservative, so we have to use them within a few days. But don't worry, those are so good. You're gonna eat them like sour patch candies, so that shouldn't be an issue. So now, to make the cordial, all you're gonna need is 250 grams of filtered water, 75 grams of granulated sugar, 14 grams of citric acid, 20 grams of fresh cilantro, 40 grams of lime juice and 10 grams of lime zest, 2 grams of coriander seeds, 7 grams of rice wine vinegar, and 1 gram of sea salt. First, in a mason jar, you're gonna place the sugar, citric acid, sea salt, and coriander seeds. Then you're gonna add the rice wine vinegar and the filtered water. You're gonna stir until the sugar is dissolved, and then you're gonna add your lime zest and your lime juice. Now it's time to make the rinds. So you're gonna trim your watermelon slices and with a peeler, you're gonna make some long ribbons. The batch of cordial we're making makes about 12 cocktails. And to make 12 of those cocktails with watermelon, we're gonna need about four slices of 200 grams each. So that's how much rinds you're gonna make. Once you're done, you're gonna place those ribbons in the cordial and then you're gonna add your fresh cilantro. With a spoon, you gotta make sure everything is submerged in the cordial. You can close the lid and flip it upside down if you want, and then you're gonna let that in the fridge for about 12 hours. After 12 hours of infusion, we're gonna strain the cordial to take the cilantro and coriander seeds out, and then we're simply gonna place back the ribbons in the cordial until we're ready to make a cocktail. The ingredients for the drink that we're gonna make today is first Blanco Tequila, Italicus, our cordial, watermelon, and orange angostura bitters. For the tequila, as long as you use a good Blanco tequila, this will do. But for the Italicus and the orange angostura bitters, those are not interchangeable. So if you don't have any, or if you have a hard time finding some, look at our collection on koreana.com. Link is in the description below. So now let's make the cocktail. 
First, I'm gonna weigh 50 grams of watermelon. I like to do that because keep in mind, watermelon is made out of 90% of water and I want the taste of it, but I don't wanna over dilute the cocktail. I like to think of it as if we would top a cocktail with soda water. We usually don't do more than an ounce and a half and 50 grams of watermelon will do just that. You can also eyeball it if you want, it's not gonna be as accurate, but if you use about six cubes of about three quarters of an inch, this will do. Then we're gonna muddle the watermelon. We're gonna add two ounces or 60 ml of Blanco tequila. Half an ounce or 15 ml of Italicus. One ounce and a half or 45 ml of the Cordial. And two dashes of orange Angostura bitters. Then we're gonna fill the shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Now we can fine strain the cocktail in a highball filled up with ice. Then we're gonna garnish it with our watermelon ribbons and a little cilantro leaf for the beautiful contrast and aroma. And there we go, my friends. This is how we make this delicious, refreshing summer watermelon cocktail. Cheers. This is the perfect cure for the heat wave. Tequila and watermelon already, just like that, it is a very good start. But then we get that beautiful acidity from the cordial and the freshness from the cilantro that goes very well with the italicus. The bergamot from that liquor adds some citrus and floral notes and it makes of this cocktail something very complex, perfectly balanced, the perfect summer cocktail. Now for the little garnish. Can you hear that? It's super crunchy. There's one thing you probably can't see in the camera is how good and tasty this is. It is super acidic because it's soaked in the cordial and it's packed with delicious flavors of cilantro and watermelon. It goes extremely well with the cocktail, obviously, but just like that, it's also very good. I could eat the whole jar, no questions asked. I also love the fact that we now use pretty much the whole thing with the watermelon. The no waste movement is great, especially mixology. I feel that way too often we waste stuff and I hate that so this is something that I love so guys that's it for me today thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if not already hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video until then thank you very much again have a great day and see you very soon cheers